I just kind of wanted to follow up on the video about getting in the cold water and hermesis. And that is, you know, a lot of these things, um, so you get in the cold water, for example. Now, it depends on how cold the water is and certain things, but even just moderately cold water on your face has a lot of benefits, measurable things. They can, it affects our heart rate, calms us, it can calm anxiety. Sometimes we, we intuitively know this. Like if you kind of watch movies or something and somebody's panicked and they go in the bathroom and they splash cold water on their face, you know, people do that instinctively. And, uh, but it's for good reason because it really does help. It really does help calm us down along with just thoughtful breathing as well. And other, and, and, and lots of other things. There's ways you can move your eyes back and forth. There's all these neat things that our body's capable of, but you kind of got to learn these things. You, you know, it's some of it's instinctual, but sometimes we do things we don't know why we do them and it helps if we have an understanding but for like getting in the cold water so like the ocean today is the low 50s that's plenty cold i mean that's cold enough to to really get all the benefits you need from cold water for example but um most of that benefit comes in just you know a minute, a 30 seconds or a minute of just jumping in and, and your body reacting to the cold. If you stay in a little bit longer, if you can, you tolerate it and teach your body will learn to tolerate the cold as well. So it's actually like you've got muscles and things in your vascular system and it actually gets better. It's just like exercise. You do, you, you get stronger at it. But after, if you stay in a little bit longer, like five, 10 minutes, there are some things that happen during that little bit bit longer period of time that um, are additional benefits and you can tell it you can you can you notice it if you you do you you, you want to your breathing starts to naturally go into a certain rhythm it's and and you start to be aware and you want to be aware of that because it's it's teaching you something about your body and you want to become more aware of how your body's feeling in those conditions you want to you, you start to learn how to monitor your health you, you like to say how you become aware of things. And, it, and that's good too, because if you're ever in a survival situation or a situation where you're, you're put into a stressful position against your will, like in a plane crash or a, something, I don't know, something, anything you lost, you're lost. It's probably more, you know, if you're lost in the woods somewhere and it gets cold, if you've trained your body beforehand, you have a much better chance of getting through those situations. So there's that kind of benefit also, but just starting with little things, you're just putting cold water on your face, just practicing general breathing. All these things are very beneficial, and and, and then you kind of can build up. But one of the, one of the real lessons here is you can't learn everything from your parents. You can't learn everything from Papa. You can't learn everything from Mama and school teachers. You have to learn to learn these things yourself. So look when you're spending your time learning about things, direct your attention towards things that are very beneficial to you, and learn how to. To, to not spend your time or as little as time as possible on things that really don't benefit you, things that just are fun but don't have a lot of benefit. Or maybe they're not even fun, but they just trigger something that make you want to spend your time doing it. And you got to be aware, like, oh, it's really not, it's really a waste of my time. Or at least it's not worth much of my time. And make sure you're spending some of your time trying to learn about these these other things about your health, and your your wellness, your uh, all the things that make up a good life, uh, a good, well-rounded life. So social, spiritual, financial, uh, physical health, mental health, all these things. I love you.